everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be showing you some bits I purchased off of the app, Wish. I'd never heard of the Wish app before, but I'd recently watched a video published by Julia Elise, and she had done a Wish app haul. I downloaded the app, I purchased a load of random bits, and most of it I have to say is a success. I think they look really cool and they seem okay. Some of it is a bit dodgy, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to show you everything I actually purchased from Wish. Let me tell you, everything is generally £5 and under. Most of the bits I bought were only £1 or £2. Some things were £4. Before I start, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more videos like this, and also give the video a thumbs up because it means the world to me. First up, I'm going to start with something I ordered which I'm hugely impressed with and I love so, 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 so much. Well, I love the look of them rather than the use of them because I haven't actually tested them out yet. But it is these beautiful, shimmery, mermaid style makeup brushes. And I got a pack of four and I think it was three pounds, so three pounds for a load of makeup brushes. I think they're kind of like rainbow-esque unicorn horns. Seriously, how cute are these? We have like the foundation brush, we have a buffing brush, we have a powder brush, we have a contour brush and eyeshadow brushes. I think they're adorable. They're super, super, super smooth and soft. I kind of tried pulling them because like you can tell a bad makeup brush when you kind of pull it and loads of the hairs come out and look. Nothing's coming out. So I'm hoping they'll be really good to you. You've probably already noticed, especially if you're a beauty blogger yourself, they're very Spectrum brush-esque. They're very similar to the Spectrum brushes, but obviously a huge lot cheaper. They just make very aesthetically pleasing pictures, and I'm really glad I purchased these. Okay, so the next thing I ordered from the Wish app was another huge set of makeup brushes. And I have to be honest, I'm sitting here trying not to gag because the smell of them is horrendous. There was this overwhelming smell of rotten banana. I know that sounds really weird, but that's what they smell like. And because they smell so bad, I'm kind of inclined not to want to use them. But it is this huge roll of purple makeup brushes. Now, you know me, purple is my favorite color in the world. I kind of wanted to purchase them and if they were good, I would use them. Otherwise, I think they would just look really cute in a makeup pot on my dressing table. It gives it a little bit of colour and they just look good. Again, I'm the typical beauty blogger where I just buy things that I think look good <laughs> and will be good in photos. So yeah, these are super cute looking, they're just not super cute smelling and I haven't actually tested any of them out, but we literally have a huge range here. Compared to the rainbow brushes I just showed, these don't feel... Oh look, you see what I mean? Can you see that hair sticking out? Oh! <gasps> Oh, see what I mean? What I just said, if you get a cheap makeup brush that's not great, you pull it and if hairs come out, then it's just really not great. The rainbow brushes, I just pulled hard and nothing came out. I just pulled this lightly and a whole chunk came out. No, not impressed. But then again, they, th this whole roll was like a pound. So, you know, I bought it at my own risk. I probably will still put these in a pot on my makeup table because they look really pretty. So the next piece I bought is this, look, it's an S, a light up wooden block S. That is so cute. I bought this purely because I want it on my makeup table because my makeup table is white and I just think this will look really, really adorable. It will glitz it up and give it a bit of glam and it lights up so I do love something that lights up. Obviously my name is Sophie aka Sofarina so it's really cool to have this in my room now and I think it's super cute. I bought eight, I think this was two pounds. For two measly pounds you can buy this and completely spruce up your home or spruce up your bedroom. So I definitely think it's worth it. I haven't tested it with batteries yet but I'm sure it does work. Maybe I should test it. I'm back! Okay, so I put batteries in. I haven't pressed the on button yet because I'm too nervous. Does it work? Ready? I'm out of breath. Yay! Woohoo! Okay, so the next thing I ordered from Wish is something that is going through a bit of a, an online craze at the moment and it is a spring or facial hair remover tool. Look at this. This looks pretty scary. 
just because we're girls, it doesn't mean we have hair, doesn't mean we don't have hair on our face. We all have a thin layer of hair on our face. So I thought I would purchase it and give it a go, just kind of grab it. Oh, lost it. You're meant to pull it out, put it against your face, let go, and the springs close, and then just pull. Oh my god, I can actually feel it's got a load of hair. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow! I don't know if you saw that, but that worked really, really well. It didn't hurt too much. I am a bit of a wimp. I have a really low pain threshold. I recommend that. That was a pound on Wish. I've seen it all online at the moment, people using these for their facial hair. That just really took out loads of hairs that I didn't even know existed. So next up, I ordered something I thought looked really good online, but now I've seen it, it looks pretty rubbish, I'm not gonna lie. It was only a pound and I found it and I thought, yeah, that's cute. But now I've ordered it, I kind of, um, I don't know, I don't know, what do you think? It's a Harry Potter style pillowcase, cushion case, and it's the um, Deathly Hallows. So, I mean, obviously, everyone in the world loves Harry Potter, don't they? So you know what I'm talking about. It's okay, but I don't think it looks as um, classy as it did online, so I'm a bit apprehensive. It also feels like a really horrible sweaty material, like material that just doesn't breathe and kind of goes clammy and sweaty if you have your head on it. Again, this was one pound. I just had to buy it to see. So next I purchased myself something for four my makeup brushes. Now I have millions and millions and millions of makeup brushes and I hate doing that awful routine of cleaning them. I found this and I thought well that looks pretty cool and this looks like it will make life easier for me so I purchased it. It is a little mat that you can put on your sink or your bath and it has little grooves in it that you kind of smush your makeup brush against to like cause friction and get the uh, makeup out the makeup brushes. Obviously it's purple because purple is my thing. It has little suctions on the back. Have it under the running tap and then just do this for ages I suppose with your makeup brushes and clean them. If it makes my life easier cleaning my makeup brushes, it's gonna be a good purchase. And again, this was a pound from Wish, so you just can't go wrong. I know I'm waiting for a couple of more bits, but not too much, I think it's just a pack of rings. That's something to look out for when you're ordering from Wish. Everything comes separately. Some of it was coming the next day. Some of it came two weeks after the order. So it's it's just how it plays out. Next up, I bought myself some sunglasses and these were one pound and I really, really like them. Although I've just had a look at them and I'm not impressed by something. But here we go, here's the glasses. They are pink aviator style glasses. But the problem is, look. Can you see? One of these comes out really far and my head is just not that wide, look. But I suppose I can tuck it under my ears. Oh, they're a bit wonky. Okay, I mean, seriously? Really? But I think they're pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So what I might do is like melt the side and then pull it in, like bend it in. These are really cute. I just don't like the fact that they came bent, but I suppose that's a risk you take when you're ordering such cheap products. So this next item I ordered is so funny. It was kind of for the joke factor, but now I'm thinking I love it. I love it so much. Look! <gasps> Brilliant. It's a pizza slice necklace. Pizza is obviously life. I just thought I need a necklace that shows my love for pizza and I saw it on there for one pound. Put that in my basket, didn't I? Long live pizza and long live pizza jewelry. Pizza themed jewelry. I mean, who invents this stuff? Because I wanna be their friend. I also purchased myself a belly bar because I still have my belly button pierced that I got when I was like 15 or 16. Yes, I did keep that a secret from my parents because I'm not sure at the time they would have approved, but they don't care really. Not anymore. Not now I'm an adult. But yeah, it's just like a little jewellery, little hanging piece of sparkly belly bar. Myself a matte lip cream and I don't know why I kind of went for this because I don't like to buy unbranded stuff for my lips because you don't know what it's made out of 
But I've just swatched a bit. It's this lip cream, Ultra Matte. That's quite a cute colour. I really like corally pink colours on my lips. I think they suit me. So it is quite a cute colour. Oh, it smells quite nice actually, so I might use it. But last but not least, I'm going to show you the favourite thing I purchased from the Wish app. And I saw these and I almost fell over myself. I was putting them in my basket so quickly, I was not letting these go. And that is the Harry Potter wand style makeup brushes. Now some of you have seen these on my Instagram and my Twitter and you all fell in love with them. You were all going wild over them. How amazing. How literally amazing are these? They're, they're small little brushes and I suppose a lot of them are for eyeshadows and there's a sculpting brush here and that kind of could it be a concealer brush? Let's do the test. See, no hairs are coming out. It's good. So these are beautiful Harry Potter wand style makeup brushes. I saw these ages ago kind of circulating and going viral on Facebook. And I thought, how am I going to get those in my life? And I've been searching for them, searching for them. I saw them on the Wish app and I was over the moon. I ordered them. These were one of the first bits to come as well, so that's really exciting. They also came in this storybook cosmetic style bag. They're super heavy because they're obviously really good quality makeup brushes. They are super heavy, but we've obviously got this one, which is the Elder Wand, which is unreal. Just look how beautiful that is. These are right up my street. I've ordered, I'm not going to lie, I ordered a couple of these and I'm doing a giveaway of these over on my Twitter. So make sure you are following me on Twitter to get your hands on these because these are unreal. But that was all the bits I had to show you in my Wish app haul. I hope you enjoyed and leave a comment down below if you think I have inspired you to go on to Wish app and download the Wish app and also make a huge unnecessary massive shop just like I did and buy loads of bits that you probably didn't need but they're so cheap you just couldn't not. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and please make sure you have subscribed and please make sure you have subscribed to my channel because obviously it means the world to me and I love all of you so very much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye! Guardian Leviosa.